Greetings and welcome! Kingdom Come Deliverance, Episode 6. I'm just enjoying the music here. Getting my mind stayed in 14th century. Well, it's at 15th century. So, so Hans's father, old <laughs> Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. You people can touch your faces, don't know anything about social distancing. Boy, this guy talks a lot. So yes, we are picking up exactly where we left off with Nightingale patrolling the streets of Rate. Wow, look at this. Hodge. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Okay. Well, that's just strange. People don't seem to mind when it's raining. Like the rain mesh uh, texture layer that comes up if it's raining. We've um, also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short rain, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's definitely other games I feel they can benefit from that as well. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. <laughs> oh, aggressive. <laughs> A dirty beggar. Let's see. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? <laughs> stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's <laughs> Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later like the uh, change of tone <laughs> it's like he's mad and then the next thing's like okay well over here we've got the traders market and he's like hey you beggar what are you Let's doing here along to the inner bailey sorry i do talk a lot i am sir talk a lot is that a nest yep Get some arrows. Bit cramped in here, isn't it? Yeah, well, it shows a nest. Where was the other one? Um, oh, at the church. There we go. Okay, cool. In a bailey. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice, too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. <laughs> Nothing strange here. He's rubbing a chicken against his face. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't slack. <laughs> Weird fetish. <laughs> Let me rub this chicken drumstick Rate against my nose. Pretty big. 
Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. This bigger is okay. That bigger um, nightingale chest looked really look very familiar. He looked like the same guy from the armory, the um, the weaponsmith. What is interesting? God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. I like how they stiffen up before we... Scallets, good folk. <laughs> before we leave, or before the dialogue finishes. Oh, here he is. We just walked through you like a second ago. Oh, uh, was the other one. What the fuck are you doing here <laughs> when you're supposed to be on the gate? <laughs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. That's uh, it. I... Not well, a word. Get moving. A you're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! <laughs> oh, I love it. Come and sit with me, Henry. <laughs> no, we're going to do the same. Sit down with Nightingale. Oh no. Henry doesn't like to gamble. That fool got me all worked up. <laughs> Henry is a goody two shoes. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? <laughs> Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. Oh. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? I'd rather not. We should go back on duty. All right, if you're so keen. Let me finish my ale oh, at least. Nice. Sweet. So you can actually... I always played the game in my prior playthrough. Cruise. So that's nice. Oh, I didn't get one more thing, and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Thank you. 
Alright, so let's have a look. Where is this Baltar by A? Okay, let's head over there. So we've got our torch. Holy love of God. So many beggars. It's busy at night during day. <laughs> Eager Henry doesn't play games. Does not <laughs> look at. I wanted to go check out the tournament, but yeah, we didn't get to that. Well. Henry has got a purpose. Oh, it seems my vitality has gone up because I'm running everywhere. That's so sweet. Sweet like a lemon. Let's ring it. Nice. What now? Close the traders. Oh, yes, I remember what's going to happen. Okay. Let's have a quick uh, look at Henry's uh, stats. So... Vitality. Marathon man. Thick blooded and sprinter. Marathon man. You run slower but keep it up for longer. <laughs> like a dwarf in Middle Earth. Sweet. No, no. Dwarves are the other way around. They're natural sprinters but the cross, cross country is wasted on them. That's it. Now I remember. Oh, um, sprinter. You run faster but also tire faster. Uh, I think marathon man. You bleed slower. Let's go with that one. He bleeds slower. Thick blooded. Just like his head is thick. <laughs> Flower power and resistance. You get a permanent plus two bonus on vitality. Very nice. Reputation. So my rep in Talmberg is not so bad. Alrighty, so we will wanting to check his food 67 is nourishment so let's have some sweet pancake sweet sweet pancake 76 uh, I him. okay let's go back to A okay can you vault as you run? oh no <laughs> Henry the Square. It's going to pass out from all the running. <sighs> all right. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> to it. find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save them, bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you... I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? 
The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Yokel. Whoops. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Whoa. <laughs> Let him have it, Sir Hans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is drunk. Well, oh, dinner has got balls, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Stamina in Come on, your grace, show him what for. Show You're going to cry. <laughs> Give that boss something. Oh, good, I backed. <laughs> Crucifix! Uh, what in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Well, that escalated. I was about to say, we're like rolling in this winch, just pitches up here and like starts sweeping the f mud in the middle of the, well, uh, yeah, I guess the cobble, whoops, cobble street, cobble, <laughs> courtyard. Uh, meet Lord Capone at dawn in the courtyard of the upper castle. So I think we're going to sleep, let's sleep outside, upper castle. Oops, better take out my torch. You must be up to no good. No, I'm in... Sneaking around in the dark? Light a torch before the catch pole see you. <laughs> what do you mean? I've got oh, my gallant, torch. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Uh, guessing the shops... Um, I think Capon will give me some arrows. I'm not going to bother too much. I still have his bow, though. Likewise. Maybe let's wash ourselves a bit. Quest, side quest. Okay. So that's what we look like. Nourishment 74. Ah, I guess we're fine. Let's head out. Lamp looks nice. I 
I liked how Kepon still had his bruises and like bloody, bloody face uh, because of our initial fight we had earlier the day. That was nice. What's the time? Oh, it's quite late. Almost <laughs> new day. I can't remember if there's any drawback to sleeping outside. Uh, just out of curiosity, what stat did I take? Um, here is the... I didn't take anything regarding where you sleep. Oh, I did. I'm quite sure I did. Um, let's just get in there. That was under main, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't take Knight Rider nor Wanderer. So first I didn't ascetic. Hmm, we shouldn't even go hungry. I wonder if, if, I mean these are other times I guess people would eat out of a pot that was just like not being manned by anyone. Open. Uh, apples. Guess it's not considered stealing. Ah, no, that's that. What? I didn't take it. Okay. So I won't even eat from the pot. We'll have our own. Sorry, and it's boring like that. Food. Oh boy, that's tattered. Mm, let's have the uh, pretzel. Okay, and then we'll sleep. Five a.m. I guess that's um, dawn. Okay, let's go meet Capon. She just sleeps out in the mud. Thinking himself, mm, I should have had some soup. Nobody's here to tend to it. Oh, my HP's gone up. That's nice. Oh, better take out the torch. These people can be real, even more square than Henry. What happens if your stamina runs out all the way? Does it like just stop running? Let's have a look. Blurry. Okay, so where's he at? Where's he at? This is horse, right? Hounds. We're we gonna wait an hour. Let's check his uh, diet, his nourishment before we do. Um, sixty-eight. It's got nothing to drink. <coughs> Guess I can drink some of the water from the trough. Okay, skip an hour. It's still drizzling. Anoush. 
and that's what I'm scared of. Sometimes if you fast the, if you fast for the time too much, and uh, you back off an hour, it's like your objective is just moved along, and he's like halfway towards his destination. You're still standing here at the where it's meant to start. I guess we can skip it till 8 and then stand around for an hour or a part of the off. Oh yeah, I forgot you've got the energy. The guy actually gets so tired that he can't move. It's, it's been raining this, like consistently since I've been playing this game. Almost eight. Where are you, dude? <laughs> Guess I'll just have to wait since he's in there, bro. If he's not here just after that, I'm going to skip another hour. It stopped raining at 8. Yeah, it's 8. Where, why is there two A's? Let's have a look. So... There's a... Ah, uh, I guess that's... Go and see Teresa the mole wench before noon. Okay, so it's just another... There it is. Oh, uh, I guess that's if you want to learn to read. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Oh, there he is! Oops, I don't know. I haven't been waiting too long. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Mm. Whatever you say. Take care now. Jan Hans Kapon. So yeah, heading out to the woods and I'll run like a good dog. I'll run you, man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Does not look comfortable on that horseback. Look here, Blacksmith. About that business at the ale house. Yes, sir. Hannes was right. I should have behaved differently, more, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you are in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. 
You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. It is um, kind of interesting that he's like a lord and he goes out hunting basically with a peasant, I guess you could say. While the. Uh, Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. You have all the thread nearby. I guess they're not immediate, an immediate threat with the... Uh, you know, with, with the invading forces. Um, Whistles? Was it Whistles? I can't know how to pronounce his name. But of the king's uh, Listen, brother trying to. I wanted to, to ask you about Scallet. I don't know if um, that is, sir. I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The humans attacked Scallet, and um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. I'm okay with that. Fast travel. It's nice to experience the open world a bit, stretch our legs. Not to be stuck in a linear narrative. Talmberg, whoops. Got a real um we'll make camp here. Real like uh, a camping site feel to it. Memory says me correctly I can loot this trunk here. That's just weird weird. <laughs> Trudging through the <laughs> brush. While finding Bring me wine and bacon from his saddlebag. A rink upon Kepon. Okay, let's do that. Saddlebag. Hey, you got bacon. You got wine. Okay, let's do that. Here you go, sir. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. Let's go to the top one. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, sir. Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. 
And they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. Sucks. What are we going to hunt? Humans. What? Humans? <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Sigismund, that's it. Ah, I don't feel like talking. I really don't want to talk about it. If I only wanted someone to fetch my game, a dog would do just as well. It's my escort's duty to entertain me, so talk. As you wish, my lord. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. But couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defence? The court was unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but it was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. Yeah, they should give me grip back for that. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean... That's all right, Henry. Don't mind me. Sometimes I open my mouth before thinking, too. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anyway today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Wait until dawn. I'm so tempted to open this. <laughs> Let's sit you on the log. Oh, what is he up to? Oh, it's his bacon. So we'll eat. Oh, never mind. We won't eat. No, you shouldn't send one. Can I actually eat more? Item. That's nice. Aim hey, at the fire, you get to cook your item. So, yeah, we'll just sit here and wait till dawn. I guess those sun icons is dusk and dawn, and then 24 and 12 is like midnight and like your middle of the day. Was it wait till dawn? Oh, I guess I should sleep. Really? Energy can't go much higher than a hundred. not live like <laughs> look at that sword the way he's sleeping with it he surely sleeps like uh, or lives like somebody that's not a noble okay I'll sit your own way oh nice I don't know how we got there uh, nourishment 84 is good okay Um, 
another two hours. I'm gonna wake him. Sir, wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep, damn it. Take care now. <laughs> Lack of 90 says this game. <laughs> oh, really, dude? You are so deliberate. What are you waiting for? Oh, your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Oh, heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant. We'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. Maybe I was a bit hasty, so. Too late, dung grubber. <laughs> you can't back out now. Nice. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Okay, we'll go hunting. Oh, good. Take all. <laughs> uh, he said I can help myself. I'll certainly will do that. So let's follow him a bit. Um, I'm thinking I should take my metal armor visibility. Where is that? Conspicuousness? Oh, visibility. I guess the lower it is, the better, right? Wow, red scarf does make a difference. <laughs> He's quite desperate. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Just gonna let it hang loose in the in the woods, and then uh, finally, I can't recall. Oh, there's Talmberg. We're not, oof, we're not even far off from it. Yeah, this is not a good idea. Uh, zoom in, right, right back. Oh yes, he's so quiet now. Well, we had a pleasant chat that time, didn't we, Henry? Well, since we are running adjacent to each other. Oh, does it move? No, it doesn't look like it does. It does. Okay, he takes a right here. Let's check the map. I believe over there where the curse is, over there is quite a lot of hair, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna we let him go that way. We'll go this way. Let's see if we can find some. Yeah, I should state the Xbox remote plays very nicely. I think he's at the spot where there's more hair. Um, there was a herbalist. Like a herbalist. Hats or something else somewhere around here.
There it is. Uh, and these are here. Let's uh, do this. Oh no, not the fire, you dumb wit. Oh, one day I'll stop doing all the wrong things. Sorry about that. Um, uh, equip. Yeah, equip. And then we've got better hunting stats. Yeah, we'll have to use this one for now. There we go. Oh, uh, we need to equip the arrows as well then. Okay, where is that hair? There. See? So you should actually stick a... Where's my arrow? Come on, Henry. Oh, there it is. What did I hit? Oh, yeah, got it. Nice. Loot tech all. Oh, yes, you get encumbered. If you must steal, make sure no one sees you, and you need to be careful when stealing stolen goods too. Try going to a trader as far away as possible from the scene of the theft, or find someone who deals in stolen goods as a matter of course offense. Ah, nice. Okay. Interesting sight. I just need to AFK. Okay, so I need to decide on how I'm going to play Henry. Is he always going to be like... I mean, if something is is unclaimed in the wilderness I guess it's okay because I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna dig uh, the buried treasure I'm not gonna like not take that <laughs> I have to get him okay so let's see if I can find another I think it's a good thing to flank back to towards let's go a bit more north and then we can flank back to Capone in that region I think there was a lot there. He was actually correct. Turn off. I don't. I can't recall what these wooden sticks. If they were like from boars burrowing or something, I can't recall what that was. Quite sure. I used to hunt a lot of hares in this area. If memory serves me correctly. What is that? piece of dirt or something? Yeah, it's a rock. Yeah, I think it was here where all the hairs were at. What is this? Nothing? If you don't align up just straight in the right angle, these things, it doesn't pop up with a tooltip. Okay, well, it was not yeah. What's the time? Nine. We've still got lots of time. Hunting we shall go. <gasps> oh, it's deer. Was that what was here? Deer. They said so tiny. Okay. I'm gonna flank south and then west. Is there another point of interest? That shelter is crazy. Ah, this is the alchemist. Uh, let's just take all. blood and stuff so not thinking as is we can go go ahead and say it's like uh, moldy and covered with like sand and stuff it's been there for a while it's not like somebody's coming back for it today or tomorrow that's just um, 
<laughs> I like to role play things. South, east, shouldn't be going east, should we? Ah, oh, sorry, yes, we should go. We're not west. We're not. We're going. We're not going towards Stalberg. We're going towards towards Ham. Hans. Capon. Capon. Well, Henry's not a hunter, so I guess I'm playing him thematically. Mushroom. Quite sure I can pick this one. Of his job. Alrighty. Southeast. Yeah, we're not going to pick all of them. What do we have here? What is this? Lavender? Oh, Sage. Lavender is a lot taller. Yeah, lots of mushrooms. It's all the same. Ambience is very nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother too much if Hans beats me through this hunting challenge. Let's run a bit fast to get some distance. Okay, this is the trail path. Okay, here we go. We can work on our sneak. I believe the red cap is a poisonous mushroom. Where is that wobbit? Let's see if I can hit it. Ooh, that's close. Oh, damn it. Let's get closer. These heads are real stupid. <laughs> In real life, I can promise you won't get this close to a wild hair. And this game like walks straight up to them. Where is he? I like if you draw back on the string how he pops out from the crouch position. That's also quite nice. Where's that rabbit? Strange. Two arrows down. There's one. Well, the grass is not as tall. Uh, I wonder if the rabbits give you stealth, but uh, there's a lot up here. I mean, we're not trying to be stealthy, so I'm not going to bother too much trying to level stealth. Did he, like, go into the grass? There he is. I don't know what's making that metallic noise. What's this? Like a piece of Borrow. Here we go. Quite sure that's a hit. I don't mind Han, Han Ray. <laughs> I don't mind him leveling. Why can't I loot the arrow? Oh, there we go. I don't mind him leveling in um, a bow and arrow. Because the way that, uh, is it Bernard? Captain Bernard explained it. I like it. You can get a. You get to fire once or twice before you engage in melee. I like that idea. Okay, let's go check up more here to the closer to the open fields. Oh, there's a little one. Yeah, speaking of red cap, I was too curious now regarding where is it? Here it is. Uh, brightly colored mushroom that draws attention to itself. Life reading, yes. Okay. And where's the the other one? I believe is under food, isn't it? Yes, there it is. Uh, nourishment two. 
dried fruit. Nourishment for no no. Maybe we should hang on to the dried goods. We can eat the mushroom. Just nom on that. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Meat I mean. Oh, this is beautiful. Up ahead. Come on, Henry. Oh, that was a bit unlucky. There here it is. So, uh, playing games like this. I know a lot of people, well not a lot of people, let me just say, I, 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 yeah, this is a, a, a rabbit hole, <laughs> wabbit hole, I know that some people stick a piece of like crosshair on the, physically on the monitor, they put like a piece of putty or they just put down a little piece of salad tape right in the middle of the monitor, then you know where you're going to aim, um, obviously there is like a, a command in the game you can type in to, to unlock the dot, the crosshair. But yeah, I'm going to play it realistic. Let's leave this. What's my incumbents? Uh, it's 78 out of 82. It's going to be incumbent soon. But we're just going to roll with that. Where is that webbit? Oh, there is. Let me know in the comments if you played the game with 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 uh, Dot, or did you play it as well the way I'm doing? I can definitely tell you it's more difficult playing the game with a for me with uh, with a remote keyboard and mouse is usually easier for me playing games like this. But I mean, yeah, this this the uh, the archery is difficult for sure. I mean, look at that. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> For a second I thought he was going to run away. Where's the other arrows? Oh, there we go. Yeah, looking for an arrow. And playing other titles, it just... It, I, I keep feeling like I want to go to third person. It's just a real strange habit. Because I've been playing... Um, like Life is Feudal type of games and um, Arma 3 I played in the beginning of this year of 2020 and you can toggle between third and first person and that's how I usually end up playing so it's just weird for me now to like play this game and only be in first person. How many arrows out of curiosity do we still have left? What? Two arrows? Oh that's not good. Well I guess we're gonna make them count then. So what happens if you, uh, yeah, I need to equip it again. That's what happens if you, uh, shoot and don't care to go recover them. Good hit. Did he get his arrow back? No. That's weird. The arrow gone. Yeah, I guess. Oh, look at the poor little wabbit's eye. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like broken. So one arrow remaining. Let's see if I can get one more. 
area. I'm going to try sneak straight up to it. Not unnecessarily doing the range thing if we don't need to. Oh, unlucky. That was fairly close. Oh, he's got more arrows. Oh, joy. Shoot it up its bum. Oof. Nah, I'm out. Where did that arrow land? Strange. This area should be, yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, there's Capon. Hunting with dogs. Okay. What was that message? I'm totally going to commit to this last... Oh, he's going to run away now. Okay, let's have a look. Where's that last... Where's that arrow? Should be somewhere around here. Oh, there is. difficult for me to f see when we're approaching an hour so I'm going to have to edit a bit of my FK oh damn so what I'll do is I'll just finish off with this last arrow try to kill one more hit and then I'll call it an episode and I'm, I'm not a big fan of digging around in the dirt arrows so this won't be norm don't don't stress if you're still here watching once again i thank you for your dedication and sticking with me and henry this is uh, not going to be a frequent occurrence i guess that's one way of doing it just walk around until you see the tool to pop up uh where's the arrow now i have to equip it again okay let's see if i can get a hit that finally where is that weather? So yeah, if you're um, playing, if you're playing it as well now as I'm, as I am, kind of playing it along with myself. This this is the campsite, and just northeast, more or less in that area, uh, there is a lot of rabbits, and then there's two points of interest on the left where this one has got a bit of alchemy, uh, herbalism, sorry, herbalism goods. Okay, let's see if I can get this rubber. There's a tool to, there isn't, That's another way of doing it. It's just to put it away and put it, pick it up. Oh. Is he walking up straight? Yeah, I think this area is Did we shoot towards more towards the tree or more towards the opening between the two? 
Okay, well, I think that's it. For you. We started strong, but we didn't finish as strong, unfortunately. Try one more. to get one more but unfortunately I missed that one way it dropped okay so I guess yeah we'll finish we'll finish it off over here at this point of time and then we'll go back to the camp and go meet up with Hans Capon good stuff thank you for joining me and following the adventure of Henry. Be sure to check in on the next episode. Until then, as always, like a dach and bye-bye.